guys, what's up? It's Mick Guy. Today we're going to be working on the part 7 of the Fruit Ninjas tutorial series in Scratch. In this part 7 and the next part 8, we're going to be finishing the game, adding main menu and retry buttons and some finishing touches. So let's get started by working on the retry screen. So now if we lose, you can see that we are taken to this screen where no more fruits are coming up. But we need to show the score and do some other animations as well as hide these three things. So let's take care of the top three things first. So let's go to this score sprite. And in this score sprite, we need to add a, uh, a script that hides and shows the variable as well as the sprite itself. So let's hit stop really quickly. Go to uh, control, drag in a forever, drag in an if else. And the only times we want to show this sprite and its corresponding variable is when mode, which I can show again, is either game or game over, so not retry. So we're going to go to operators, drag in an equals, go to variables, drag in mode, and the first should be mode equal to game. We can duplicate this and check for game over. And I just realized it should actually be an or, not an and, because we want to check either. Obviously, both can't exist at once. Oops. And then in this situation, we would want to show this. Otherwise, we need to hide. And the same goes to the variable. Show the variable score. Otherwise, hide the variable score. The same needs to be done to the lives sprite. So we can just drag it from here and let go. And we can drag in a when flag is clicked. And then we can just take out this variable stuff. So now if we die, which I can do in two ways again, uh, let's see if a bomb comes up. If I hit this, you can see we go to retry and then all of that disappears. So that's great. We can hide our mode variable once again. The next thing we want to do is have an animation when we hit a bomb, kind of like an explode animation. Right now, it still does the same as if you died by fruits, but we're going to fix that. So create a new sprite, and this time we're actually going to be painting our sprite because it's so simple. We're going to take a big rectangle and just make it white. And we're going to add some code to this. So we're going to call this sprite transition because that's kind of what it is. It's a transition. And we're going to say when flag is clicked, First of all, just go to the center, make sure that no borders are left. X0, Y0, and let's hide to start with. And then when we receive a message called transition, which we will broadcast from the bomb, bomb sprite, we want to do a little animation. So we're going to go to looks, drag in a set ghost effect to zero. So it'll show fully. And then drag in a show, go to control, repeat 10, go to looks, and we're going to gradually make the sprite transparent. So go to ghost, change ghost effect by 10. Again, 10 times 10 is 100, which means it'll be fully invisible. Uh, we should wait a little bit in between, just so that it's not too fast. And then also go to our front layer since we want it to come in front of everything. So we can do that uh, right here. And then finally, after we've done with the transition, we want to hide this. So now that we've set up this script, we need to go into bomb and actually broadcast the message. So as you can see right here, we're broadcasting game over. Let's also broadcast transition. So now let's see if this works. As you can see, it does a flash animation and this will only happen for the bomb. The next thing we're gonna work on in this part is setting up a counter for score at the end. So let's create a new sprite and we have a bunch of costumes to upload here. Again, all links are available in the description below. We're gonna get N0 to N9, open them all, and we can delete the first while we're at it. Let's just wait for all of them to load. Go to code, and let's add some code here. Okay, so we're gonna be using the pen tool for this. So let's just add the pen extension. You can click here and get pen. And when flag is clicked, let's erase everything because we're going to be using the stamp block. And then let's hide this main sprite. And we'll never need to show it, so it'll just be permanently hidden. Then go to Control, drag in a forever, if. And here, 
we want to make sure, or let's do an if else. Here we want to make sure that we are in the retry mode. So the way to do that is to check if, oops, if, to check if mode is equal to retry. All right, then we're gonna go to x0, y0. And this is just a digital counter. You may have seen some tutorials in the past. It's kind of a better way of doing it. Let's go to variables, create a sprite for the sprite only. And let's call it digit. So we're gonna essentially create copies of this, clones, not actual clones, we're just gonna be using the pen tool, so it's gonna be a stamp. And we're gonna go through digit by digit on the score and copy them and keep moving to the left so we can recreate the score visually through these costumes. So let's first set digit to the length of score. So how many digits are in score? Let's then erase all once again, just so we get a blank slate. And then let's loop through each digit. And the way we're going to do that is by repeating length of score and start stamping. So we need to first go to the right costume. So let's go to operators, drag in a join. And then each starts with an N. And then for the second, we'll do digit. So it'll be like N3, N4. And as you can see, those will correspond with an actual costume. Then we're going to change digit by negative one. So we'll start at, let's say it's three digits long, then we're gonna do two and one. Um, and then let's stamp. And this is the actual stamping as you can see. And then just change X by negative 60. So move to the left a little bit. And finally, let's not do this forever while we're in the retry mode. Let's just wait until mode changes. And the way to do that would be to go into control drag in a wait until, go to operators, drag in not, and then you can just copy this. So wait until mode is something else besides retry before redoing this and, and reprinting because the score wouldn't change when you're in retry mode. And then at the end, you may guess we just want to erase all when we are not in retry mode, right? We don't want to be showing this when we're uh, in game. Now let's go to variables, let's hide this. And I think we can change this size to 33. We can do this in the editor right here. I just realized we made a mistake. Instead of having digit here, we actually want to go into operators, drag in letter digit of score. And so now if we're at zero and we die, it'll show zero as the counter right here. There we go. That's working perfectly. We're going to pick up in the next episode, finalizing the game and working on the main menu and retry buttons. But for this part, that's all I've got. I hope to see you guys in the next part. Stay subscribed and hit the like button to get updated, and I will see you there. Peace.